All right. Okay. So we're going to start with our breathing. Find a comfortable sitting position. You can roll the pelvis forward and back. And then find the tip of your sit bones. Okay. All right. And let's start breathing. So try, try breathing to the belly. So breathing into the belly, no natural breath in and out. Okay, I'm just trying to pin myself so you guys don't come in and out. Okay, good. All right, so we found the tip of the sit bones, stack the ribs over the pelvis, stack the head just over the ribs. If you feel you're really struggling with the hip flexors, you need to sit a little higher on your mat, on blocks, on the couch, on your chair, it's all good, okay? And just breathe. When you're breathing in and out, try to expand to the back side and front of the torso. So feel that breath going back and then around. Pull the abdominals gently into exhale. Good. Now let's try to pull the pelvic floor off the ground. So think of your sit bones coming together. Okay, the two sit bones down here, they come together and you lift. And on that lift, you should feel the engagement of the pubic bone area lifting. And then if you can, hug your hip bones in and your ribs. So breathing into the back side and front of the torso, expanding the torso, pulling the pelvic floor off the ground, bringing the sit bones and the pubic bone to tailbone together helps. Lift. As you lift, feel the sinking of the pubic bone and abdominals and the lift. Keep going. I'll be right back. Okay, and then from the sitting position, after you finish this last one, bring your hands to your knees, breathe out, roll back. So from your sit bone, I want you to scoop the pelvic floor, sink and lift the abdominals. When you do that, roll back, stay long through the spine, roll to the back of your sit bones, and then lift the spine and come back up. Okay, this lift is really important. So I'm doing it here because it comes from the back of the neck, back of the head that lift. So breathe in, lift. Breathe out, pull the pelvic floor gently, bring the sit bones together, scoop, lift the abdominals and roll that pelvis, roll to the back of your sit bones, stay lifted through the spine and the crown of the head. When you breathe in, imagine somebody's pulling your hair and your ponytail up, lift, 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 lift to come back to a sitting position. So it's not reaching this forward, it's lengthening the spine that brings you back, okay? Keep going. Breathe out, bring the pubic bone and tailbone, sit bones together, lift that pelvic floor off the ground, scoop and lift the abdominals and try to keep pushing your low back back, roll into the back of your sit bones, then breathe in, lift through the crown of the head. Two more, the hands here are helping. So if you wanna round a little bit more through that upper back, just make sure your shoulders stay wide. Lift, one more. Try not to lose the height as you're rounding, so you're really scooping the abdominals. And lift, nice. Let's do a little side to side stretch. So you're gonna raise your right arm to the ceiling, left arm stays down. Now grow tall from here, grow tall, grow tall. Watch that you're not pinching the shoulder, it's from out here. 
Now, shift your rib cage a little bit, stay seated and heavy on your right sit bone as you go to the side, and this left arm is helping. Look at my elbow, it's straight. My arm is reaching up to the ceiling, and then my sit bone is reaching down, and I'm opening up that whole side. So don't just collapse, yeah? On your breath and come back. So keep breathing as I talk. Breathe in, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Anchor the sit bone up, up, up from the outer armpit. Breathe out, keep reaching the arm and then make that sit bone heavy. This arm is helping you sit heavier on the left sit bone. Look at me, Rania. Yeah, so your ear should come to shoulder. Your other ear should stay up to the ceiling. Don't collapse this way, reach. And look at the camera, reach. This arm relaxes. You can go as far as you can, as long as the sit bone stays down. Lift, come back. Let's try that again. Other side. Okay, let's change the cross of the leg first. And then let's try the other side. Lift, 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 lift. Anchor. And then use this hand support. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Sit bone heavy, arm reach and breathe out. Do one more breath if you can. And then you can push or you can use your abdominals to bring your back up. And then this arm up, up, reach. Sit bone down, arm up, keep connecting through the ribs and go. Somebody's pulling my arm and my pelvis is really heavy. Keep the connection of the front and back of the torso. You're reaching away, reaching away, reaching away. Push the sit bone down. When you're ready to come up, use your abdominals or help with the arm to come back. Nice job. Good. Now, we're going to rotate to your right. So walk your hands around. Walk, 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 walk. Try to stay lifted. Walk, walk, walk. Wherever your hands reach, you can bring the hand to your knee. The back hand is going to lift you, right? So the back hand is here. You can keep the fingers back to open up the shoulders. Push yourself up with that back arm. Lift. Connect the ribs to the pelvis so you're not popping. And then rotate. You can use this hand. And then use the back hand to lift you. Breathe out. Rotate this rib cage back and the shoulder back. Actually, it starts with the shoulder. Last lift. Now, try to rotate shoulder, rib, waist. And then on the breath in, you come back to center. And we're going to walk the hand the other way. Walk, walk, walk. Use both hands to lift you. Make sure you're heavy on both sit bones. This arm comes here. Press with the back hand. Lift yourself taller. Even if your elbow's bent, reaching back, that's fine. Breathe out. Keep this rib in. Don't arch, don't round also. Three breaths. Push to lift. Breathe out. Pull with the hand on the, on the, elbow, on the knee to rotate. Shoulder, rib, and waist. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out, take the shoulder, take the rib, take the waist. And then breathe and come back to center. Let's do one more to each side, but change the cross of the leg one more time. Okay, and then hands lift with both arms, walk, walk. So let's go a little further this time. Equal weight on both sit bones, hand comes on the knee, in or out. Push with the back arm to lift you, breathe out. Press into the knee, rotate, shoulder, rib, waist. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out, shoulder, rib, waist. Last one, breathe in, lift. Breathe out, shoulder, rib, and waist. Come back to center. You can walk those hands again all the way to the other side. Push and lift, 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 lift. Hand can come on knee, breathe in to lengthen, breathe out, pull, rotate. So shoulder, rib, and waist. Stay stacked over the spine and the pelvis. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, shoulder, rib, and waist. Last breath. Stay long through that spine and then breathe in, come back to center. All right, let's go into our back. So you're gonna turn to your side, feet forward. We're gonna roll down so you can put your hand here, scoop the abdominals and roll all the way down. Okay, we're gonna stay here and we're gonna go into our abdominal and core activation. So make sure that your feet are aligned with your sit bones. 
Your nose, sternum, and belly button are in line. Hands glide on the ground, bring the shoulders away from the ears. And let's breathe to the back side in front of the ribs. Just give me three breaths. Breathe in, activate, breathe out. If you're ready to do pelvic floor and abdominals, then bring those sit bones together, scoop the belly, lift, hug the hip bones, hug the ribs. So the whole torso hugs in. Breathe in, expand, starting with the back. Glide the rib cage on the mat. Breathe out, pull. Lower abdominals, lift, hug the hip bones and the ribs. Two more. Relax your elbows a little bit. If your shoulders are tight, just bend them. Last one. Good. And then on the next breath out, we're going to start pelvic tilt. So you're going to scoop and lift the abdominals, keep the rib cage still. Don't squeeze the butt. So we're not squeezing too. Imprint, lengthen, keep the rib cage still, arch the back, and go. Scoop, hollow, scoop, scoop, in and up. From behind the pubic bone, you wanna lift. From behind both, both hip bones, lift. Breathe in, lengthen the sit bones and the tailbone, arch. So remember that marble, right, between the pubic bone and the belly button. Breathe out, scoop, let the marble roll to the belly button, Breathe in, lengthen, and let the marbles roll to the pubic bone, down to the floor. Breathe up. Release that back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Work your weaker side. Scoop more if you can't feel it. Now let's find your neutral or your imprinted spine for today, wherever your back is comfortable. For those of you who usually use the sponge or those towel under the low back, go ahead and put it there. And let's go through our marches. So breathe out, stabilize, breathe in. March one leg up, I'm gonna go with my right leg. Without tipping the pelvis, it stays neutral. Breathe out, scoop the belly first. Leg relaxes down. Alternate, stabilize the side that just moved and lift the other side. Keep the neutral so your tailbone is really heavy and your low back is hovering off the mat. Scoop, lift your abdominal before the leg goes down. Anchor the side, pelvis, rib, shoulder, the other side floats. And then the abdominal scoop and lift on that side. Let's work on that side while you stabilize the side. Keep floating the leg, keep scooping. Good. Nice and easy, the leg floats, you're not overworking the hip flexors. If you can go further back, go for it without the pelvis tilting for you to go. Don't forget the side that's not working, it's working. It's really pushing down on the mat to keep that stability. We're gonna finish with this one, this is my left, and I'm gonna add my arms. So I'm gonna reach, press the leg away from me, resist, bring it down, breathe in. March, press the leg away, resist, bring it down. You can do four breaths or a single breath. Breathe out, breathe in, or breathe in to go up, breathe out to push, breathe in to bring the hand down, breathe out to take the leg down. It's up to you what your pace needs to be. But you can change the breath and do the breath out on the lift and the breath in coming down, it's hard. Good. Now let's add a crunch to this. So you're gonna crunch, press, resist, and down. Crunch, roll the head, roll the shoulders, resist, down. And if you need to use your hand, all you need to do is release one hand, reach. Keep your shoulders down on the ground and try not to roll the shoulder to reach. The tip of the scapula is still on the ground. Yeah, or you keep hands next to you. Yeah, you can keep it hovering, you can keep it here. Reach, rotate. There is a rotation. The shoulder is down, the other one is up. Okay, rotate the shoulder that stays down. Reach, make sure you're not rounding the shoulder. Very good. Give me one more to each side. Now 
legs and rest. Very nice. Let's bring your hand to the back of the head. Good. And let's rotate with marches, shoulders down, elbows wide, as wide as you can keep it without the shoulders coming up. So now you're going to give me the march and rotation without reach. So remember the connection that you found. Try to connect your armpit or your rib across to your inner thigh. Keep your head in line with your chest. Bring it down. So I'll do it this way so you can maybe see me better. March, I press my scapula down and I press my opposite down. Rotate and down. So don't rotate with the elbows. Don't rotate with the head. Keep the, the head in alignment with the chest bone and you're pressing one scapula rib down and bringing the other rib up. Yeah, keep going. Nice, good then, looks nice. Give me one more to each side. Good. Nice job with the head. Way to not move the head. That's great. And relax down. That's nice. Okay. So we're going to aim print. March the legs up. Let's go into our toe tap. So the head relaxes here. Okay. And we'll go to our toe taps. On the breath out, you can keep your legs here in 90 degrees or it can go slightly back to support your back or your low back and the mat more. Okay? So push into the knee or not. Keep your hands down and release one leg, let it go down. Keep the other leg pressing towards you. Bring it back up. So if your knees are closer to you, your elbows are bent. Breathe out, push this knee towards the hand as you scoop and lower the other leg, bring it back. Let's go, six more. Don't let that back move. So if your toe cannot reach the floor, no problem. Just let the leg go as far as your back is imprinting into the ground, or at least trying to keep the low back as close to the ground as you can. And up. Good, that knee that you're pushing back, should create quite a bit of stability for you. So when that leg goes down, that side is already active, right? One more to each side. Hug your knees. Nice job. Okay, let's do our crisscross here. So head, the hands go behind the head again. And now we're gonna rotate to the knee that stays. So imagine that knee's pulling back without coming too far back as the other leg releases down. And then you come back. Don't forget to keep the scapula that's on the ground. So I'm gonna rotate to you. This shoulder stays, the opposite pelvis stays of the leg that's coming down. And then I come back. So use that shoulder to give you stability. Nice. Let's do four more. Open up those elbows. Reach for the rib and the armpit, maybe, or the shoulder. Think of the shoulder, not the elbow reaching. Last one. Nice. You can pause the video and keep going if you love these. Otherwise, hug your knees. Nice, then it looks really good. Very nice. Good. All right, let's march those legs back down. That was good. Very nice work. So I've been working those cross systems because we're going to be doing a lot of sideline stuff, okay? So from there, we're going to roll to the side this way. Okay, try to align with the camera here for you. Excellent. So here, hand, um, hand can go on the ground. I think most of you like this position we're doing today's class. So we'll keep it like this. Okay, rest your head into it. Of course, you can put your hand this way. You can put a pillow 
your arm can be this way or I can put, put a pillow and your arm can be this way, whatever is comfortable for you, okay? We're going to straighten the legs out. And then bring it forward a little bit for stability, flex your feet. So if you flex your feet, it gives you a stronger base here, okay? So if you're on a mat, basically your legs are gonna come a little bit towards the front of your mat and your back is towards the back of the mat. Hand in front of you for support. Good, let's lift that top leg away. And now let's reach the leg so the waist moves away from the rib and the bottom waist is coming off the ground. There should be some light coming from under that waist. Hold it here, tuck your tailbone like you're imprinting the spine. Remember this that we did, arch and imprint. Imprint the low back into the imaginary wall behind you so you should feel your abdominals working here, yeah? So lift, roll the little pebble to the belly button and try to reach the belly button there. The top leg is gonna stay here. And first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna bend, and push, bend. So when you bend that leg in, I don't wanna see the shortening of the waist. If you can keep your hand here, make sure your knee comes up. It can go as high as you want. As long as you're not rotating the pelvis, keep moving, and you're not collapsing the waist to do it. So my mouse hole is still down here. Let's go, four. Try to take that leg high, five, without moving the waist. Keep tucking, pubic bone connects to belly button the whole time. It doesn't connect more because the knee is going up. Seven, it doesn't move, yeah? It just stays in the same place. Nine, keep lengthening the waist and the pelvis. And 10, good. Now stay here, we're gonna do leg lifts. Make sure your hips are stacked and go up. One, lengthen. Two, keep this working. Three, four, five, six, straight leg, seven, tuck the pelvis a little bit, eight, tuck it a little bit, connect here more, nine, ten, take a quick break, nice, good, let's go back up. And let's kick that leg forward and back. And you're gonna go kick, kick to kicks, point. Reach it back, lift the hips, lift, lift, lift. And go kick, point, reach, two, three. Make sure this is not moving for hip flexor, but five, kick, kick, flex, flex, point, reach, squeezing the butt. Six, breathe in, breathe in. Squeeze the butt. Don't move this. Seven. Eight. Don't move your pelvis. So there's none of this. Nine. Last one. Ten. Bring it down. Give me a quick rest. Nice. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift the bottom leg up and down, but we're going to keep the top leg kind of working up there. All right. So we're going to go up and down with the bottom leg. It is the bottom leg that is lifting the top leg. This is what I want you to think about. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, you can do that. It's not gonna work the same. Do keep the legs slightly forward. For those of you who can keep the legs in, in line with the body, go ahead and do that. But scoop, connect the abdominals to the ribs, connect the ribs to the abdominals. Flex, it's more stable. And let's go up and down. Use this hand for stability. Tuck the pelvis, lift, two, it's a small tuck, yeah? Three, as a working. Four, bottom leg lifts the top leg. Five, six, seven, eight, stay with me, nine, ten, Bring it down, take a breath. We're gonna go up, kick the top leg up, down and come down. So, up, top leg, it comes back down, everything comes down, okay? Let's go if you haven't started, go one, up, top leg, bring it back, bring everything down. 
Reach the heels, straighten the legs. Two. Three. Four. Keep that alignment. Reach the legs away. Five. Look. Minimal movement. Six. Tuck the tailbone a little bit. Seven. I think we can do ten. Let's go. Eight. Lift that bottom leg as much as you can. Nine. Keep the waist long so it's not a huge movement. And ten. Bring it down, rest for a second. We're gonna go up and stay. Top, bottom leg stays up, top leg is gonna go up and down. I'll go a little faster because it's a little miserable. Let's go. Lift, hold, and go one, two, four. Keep lifting that bottom leg. Six, reach the leg. Seven, lift the abdominals. Eight, nine, and 10. Ooh la la, that is something. Good, that was nice. So nice six exercises. We will do them to the other side. Good, first we need to go into a side plank. So cross one leg over the other, bend the knees in, use this hand to push yourself and bring the elbow under the shoulder. Okay, now elbow plank, I think most people are okay with. But let's see the leg positioning. You can keep the legs crossed or stacked. Feet and hip and shoulders are aligned. So you can go up this. You can straighten the top leg, go up just like this. Straighten both legs, hooking the bottom leg behind the front leg and go up here. Okay, you choose. Now, if you need support with the top hand, fine. It's easier if you put blocks in front of you so you can press to help you as well. Don't rotate, okay? Elbow on the shoulder, push, 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 and sink the shoulder into the joint. Keep pressing down and keep pulling the shoulder in. Nice. So if you're not going to use your hand, you can keep it on your waist. Tuck your pelvis, zip the inner thigh. This is the position you're going to work. And let's go. Lift. Come all the way down. Rest. Two. Push into the feet. Lift the hip and down. Bend the knee a little bit. Come down. Three, good, press into the elbow. Now, you don't have to come all the way down like we've been, you can just go up and down or come back to this. Four, press into the elbow, just come down as much as you can. Five, push the hip, the waist and the rib. Six, press into the elbow and the torso. Seven, keep the inner thigh squeezed, keep the legs active. Eight, push. Nine, straight up, and 10. Do what you can, good. Press yourself, bend your knees, bring your hand here and stretch. Rotate the torso. You can bring your hand here and roll back, or just keep reaching the arm and the whole rib cage back. Arm forward, rib back, or hold and rib back. Release, come back to this position. All right, we're gonna go on our belly and we're going to do swimming before we change over to the other side. So go back to your side, belly down, legs open and arms open, okay? All right, so here's the reverse of imprint. Remember how we did the imprint on the floor, on our back? We're gonna do the same thing here. Legs are as wide as my hips. I'm gonna lift my abdominal, tuck my tailbone, and try to get the very bottom of my pubic bone on the mat. My butt is a little bit tight, yeah? Arms are wider than my shoulders if I can, if I need it. Shoulders widen. Now press into your pinky finger and rotate the armpit to the, to the floor to really lengthen the shoulder. Tuck your chin, look at the floor. If you cannot keep your head afloat, you need to put something on your forehead to support your head, okay? Don't bring the head down to the floor. Now, scoop the belly, tuck the pelvis, and I'm gonna lift the arm closer to you and the leg away from you, opposites, without arching, without tipping. Stay here, 
Press the opposite arm and leg. It's there now, move stronger into the ground and switch. Breathe out, the ones that went up, press into the ground, lengthen and lift the other. It's not about lifting, it's about lengthening. Go, breathe out, breathe in, bring it down. Breathe out, press these down, lengthen the other ones until they lift. Press, reach, reach, reach. Maybe they go up, maybe they go up, don't. And go. Five. Six, lift the abdominals, don't move the pelvis or the low back. Seven, reach the leg away so it's completely straight. Eight, reach, don't bend at the knee. Nine, it's a tiny movement. 10, relax, make a pillow with your hand, just scratch your breath. So we're gonna do 10 more faster and switching right away. You can use the floor. Okay, and then we're gonna do 10 counts without touching the floor, or you can do any of the first two variations, okay? So press down, scoop the belly, round that pelvis until your back is nice and stretched out. And let's go. One, switch right away. Two, three, abs up. Four, lengthen the back of the neck and head. Five, six, seven, reach that leg. Eight, nine, Ten, stay here. Get both off the ground and go. One, two. I'm gonna just count 30 seconds. Go. Scoop the belly. Widen the shoulders. Lengthen the crown of the head. You're breathing to the side of your ribs. You're pushing your pubic bone and your bottom ribs into the ground. And just grow tall. I want you to be long. Don't worry about the up and down. Ten seconds. Breathe to the ribs. Breathe out. Pull that belly around your pelvis. Five seconds. Let's see the clock. And relax. Make a pillow with your hand. Catch your breath. You're going to push yourself back and you're going to stretch back. Close together, knees apart, and push your butt to, the, to your heels if it's okay with your knees. Once your butt reaches the heel, keep pushing. I'm pressing back with my arms. And I may come down, I may not. Doesn't matter if my head reaches. I'm trying to push. Now, if you want a deeper stretch, bring your hands to your heels. Pull on the heels and round your back against your head. Pull and lift that spine up. Keep your shoulders wide. Roll up and release. And we'll do the other side. All right. So all the leg work, plank, and for your joy, we're doing the swimming series again. Okay. So let's go to the side and let's do all that shebang again. Okay. So find that position that's appropriate for you. So maybe on your arm here, on your arm here. For those of you who are advanced and did this before, remember you can actually do all of these here, right? With your hand here, here, even this, I always find it's too high, too high, but if you want to be here, you can. So those will be harder options for you. All right, so we lengthen the legs, we bring it slightly forward, we make sure the hips are stacked, the shoulders, Let's lift that top leg and let's reach, 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 reach until we have that light or that space under the waist. Now, tuck the pelvis, bring the rib cage in. Okay. And from here, let's do our bend and push. So make sure that everything is in place. I'm misaligned because my camera is off. We're gonna bend, keep in the waist long, squeeze the butt, push. So the leg is as high as you can keep it. Two, push, reach, reach longer. Three, keep reaching the butt as the knee come up. Four, five, use your butt. Your knee can come as high as you want as long as you don't drop, yeah? So the waist has to stay off the ground, six, Seven, 
Keep that waist long. Push the door. Eight, knee forward. Keep it at 90 degrees. Nine, make it purposeful. 10, keep it straight. Reach, reach, reach. Up and down. Go one, two. Reach through the heel a little bit more, Rania. Four, five, hug. six, seven. Don't let your toes rotate up. Eight, lead with the outer heel. Nine, 10, good. Bring it down, take a quick rest. We're gonna come up and we're gonna do the kicks forward and back for 10. Bring it back up, lengthen, connect, and let's go. Kick forward twice with the flex foot. Breathe in, in, point, breathe out. Scoop the abdominals, just lengthen back with the butt muscles. Two, breathe in, breathe in, flex, flex, point, reach. Three, keep your leg as high as you can. Keep this long. Four. You're probably not going to come too forward. That's fine. Five. Tuck. Reach it back. Six. Tuck first before the leg goes back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Breathe in. Breathe in. Flex. Flex. Ten. And relax it down. All right, so now we're gonna do the, uh, both legs up and down, both legs up, top leg, and then stay up and do both, okay? So bring the arms here, flex your feet, lengthen, find that connection, tuck and scoop, and let's go both legs up, one. When the legs go up, try to keep the waist from collapsing for you to lift. So my waist is still off the ground, two, right? Three, as best as I can put this arm, I need this arm. Four, tuck the pelvis, then lift. Five. Six. Bottom leg is pushing the top leg. Seven, use that bottom leg. Eight. Keep lifting the abdominals. Nine. Ten. Now we do 10, we lift the leg, top leg goes up, down, both legs lower, okay? So connect and go one, lift, down and down, two, lift, down, don't rotate that top leg, three, up, keep the toes down if it's rotating up, four, five, Six, push up with the bottom leg, lift the top leg, bring it back, both come down. Seven, reach and lift, top leg, back and down. Ooh, I lost count, seven. Must be hurting, eight. Good, flex the feet. Nine, reach through the heels. Good, and 10. And rest, good. We're gonna go back up, stay up, and just the top leg goes up and down. I know everybody's dying by now, so I'm trying to make it a little faster for everybody, okay? So, lengthen through the ribs and tuck that tailbone, lift those abdominals, let's stay up. Stay long, so go up, reach, reach, and let's go up, but top leg only, one. Two, keep lifting that bottom leg. Three, four, five, good. Six, reach through the heels, connect the abdominals. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo! Good, nice massage. Yep. You can do it with a fist like that. Just little taps where it hurts. It hurts everywhere. Okay, so we're going to our plank, right? So cross the top leg over the bottom one. Use hand to lift you and glide that elbow under you. 
All right, so keeping the elbow under the shoulder, press into the elbow, okay? Roll that shoulder. So remember, sink that shoulder into the joint and you must be here the whole time. You can come up with the knees down, up with one leg straight, up with both legs straight, but keep the knees slightly bent. We're gonna start going up and down gradually, right? Hand here to support or here. Tuck the pelvis, connect the ribs, lengthen the body, and let's go. Press into the elbow, press into the hip, waist, rib, and then bend the knees a little bit, bring it down to the floor, let's go. And go, press into the elbows, shoulders down, lift. And slowly down. Three. I'm straightening and zipping my inner thigh. Good. Now I'm going to continue without touching. You can continue whatever is comfortable for you. Four. I'm going to just bring it down as much as I can control. And up. Five. Hip, waist, rip. Shoulder. Six. Press into the elbow. Shoulder joint in. Six. Zip the inner thighs if you're up together. Seven. Eight. Two more if you can. Last one. Ten. Bring it down. Bend your knee. Push yourself. Hand here. Stretch. Woohoo. Rotate. Push the ribs back. Reach the arm forward. You can put your hand on the knee and roll back, round back if you want to as well. Okay. And come up. We're going belly down again and we're doing the same series of the swimming. So just alternating, then alternating fast and then staying up and doing 30 seconds, okay? So let's go. You can always just stick to the first one. I'm gradually taking you into a higher thing. It's up to you. So arms shoulder width, legs hip width, okay? All right, different angle for you guys. Okay, so scoop the belly, tuck the pelvis. So I am rounding out yeah? just like the imprint and arch we do. Abdominals off the mat, pubic bone onto the mat, legs long. Open the shoulders wide, tuck your chin in and lengthen the back of the neck and head to the ceiling and forward. And let's go. I'm gonna lift the arm close to you and the leg away from you, keeping the other two pushing down and down I go. Press these down, reach first and then maybe lift. The leg is being lifted right here from the glute fold and the hamstring down. Three, down, four. Now, keep lifting the abdominals off the ground. Five, push the pubic bone and the ribs into the ground. Six, lengthen, then you reach. And down. Six. Seven. The count is wrong, but that's fine. Eight. Nine. Stay long through that body. It's about lengthening. Ten. Okay, I'm gonna switch without stopping down at the bottom. So let's go. One, switch right away. Two, long, long, three, through the crown of the head and the toes, four, abs tight, five, pubic bone and ribs on the mat, six, seven, reach long, eight, nine, ten. Rest down for a second. Make a pillow with your hands if you want to. So we're gonna come up and do 30 seconds, okay? Get ready and lift, scoop the belly, just a little bit off the ground and swim if you're gonna do that. If not, just do the first option or the second. Belly button off the ground, legs are straight. You're moving from here where the butt meets the thigh, the back of the thigh. Shoulders may move or not. You can keep the hands on the ground and just the hands on the ground. You can go slow. Five seconds. Long. Reach longer. Lift the abdominals. And relax. 
Just make a pillow with your hand, catch your breath. Breathe into your belly, okay? Nowhere else. Push the air into the belly to relax the back. Push yourself up if you're up to doing a child's pose again. Toes together, knees out. Press, 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 push. And then keep pushing your bum into the heel stretch or bring your hands to the heel, pull into it and lift those ribs to the ceiling to stretch. Here you breathe into the ribs. Relax the head. This is totally fine. And then roll yourself up nice and tall. Good. So we're gonna do one more set of side planks, okay? So just swing your legs to the side. We're gonna start with this arm um, and then I'll stretch you. I am sweating, <laughs> but you, all right. So I'm gonna give you the option to go back to the elbow if you want to, okay? I'm going to be doing rotation. You can do it on the elbow, you can come up into your hands. Nice open hands, big finger, a big thumb and index, uh, pressing if you're gonna be here. I want your hand in line with your hips and again, your feet in line with the hips too. So you can come up on the knee, we're going to rotate the arm under the armpit without the pelvis rotating. Go up to the ceiling open and come down. If your leg is out, you're gonna come up Rotate from the waist, keeping the pelvis reaching forward. Open up the ceiling, come back down. And then the full plank is what we usually do. Harder, remember you can stack your feet instead of keeping the feet crossed. I'm gonna keep my feet crossed. So I'm gonna come up into a full plank. You guys decide what's appropriate for you, okay? So keep your hands slightly under the shoulders, just slightly forward, or you are here. Same options of the legs that we did before. All right, so I'm gonna count maybe up to eight, maybe 10. You stop when you feel you've had enough. You're gonna press into the feet, lift the hips, arms to ceiling. Tuck your pelvis, zip the inner thighs together, pull the shoulders away from the ears and keeping the pelvis reaching forward, rotate the arm under you, under the armpit. Breathe in, lift to the ceiling and back, breathing in. Breathe out, rotate. Did I say we're gonna come back down? Breathe in, stay up here, keep going. Three. And open. Four. Keep pressing your fingers and your knuckles into the ground. Five. Six. I'm gonna stop at six because I didn't go up and down. We're gonna bend the knees and come back down. Woo, woo. Roll your wrist, hold on your shin. Stretch. Nice work. Just breathe into this rib cage here. And relax down. Swing the legs to the other side. You can cross now the top leg over the bottom. Stack, or you have all the other options here, right? Knee, leg straight or not. Hands just under the shoulder. Roll the shoulder back and up we go. So we did six, okay? If you need to come up and down, you can. So press into the hand, lift, reach. Sit the inner thighs together, tuck the pelvis, shoulders down. Breathe out, keep the pelvis reaching forward, reach the arm under, breathe in, go up and open. Two. I'm gonna show you the elbow version. If anybody's doing elbow, doesn't change much, three. Open, okay, four. Open, two more. Five. And six, the opening really does stretch your chest. So try to rotate and open. And bring the knees down. Hand on shin when you're done. Keep going if you need to. You can go to eight or 10, please do. And stretch and breathe into your ribs 
and release. Woo! Nice work. Let's stretch you. Now, um, I'm going to show you the pigeon stretch. You guys can do number four for, for the glutes, okay? Or you can go ahead and do the pigeon, which I'm doing right now. You can do whichever leg you want. Flex this foot, open up this leg as wide as it's comfortable for your knee, and back leg is straight, right? So I have my pelvis square to the ground. Now, if you want to here, keep reaching the leg back as much as you want. To open up the hip flexor of this leg, you can put your hand on the knee, hand on ankle, push and lift. Okay, lift the abdominals. This opens up this hip. Do one or two breaths and then slowly start coming down, keeping that back hip nice and open. And we're gonna be here for a good minute, so just breathe. You can start up high, just with the breath, let your body relax. If your knee bothers you, this foot can flex. You can bring the foot inwards more, so less opening. And as you breathe out, relax the leg and the torso a bit more. Keep breathing. Let the body just relax. Every breath out, just try to increase your stretch. Do 10 more seconds to so try to keep relaxing the body as you breathe out. Breathe to the belly. It's nice to breathe into your back. So when you're ready, you're going to slowly press yourself up. Swing the back leg forward. Take your time. Yeah, it's real out there. And then this front leg, we're going to take it back. So flex this foot. We're going to swing. So use your hands to lift, swing, or straighten that leg back. Okay, open this leg as much as you can. Flex the foot. I'm already going to put my hand on my ankle and knee, and I'm going to lift myself to open up that back hip. You can keep it on the floor. Of course, it depends on how much you can do. Now keep lifting the hip bone and the abdominals up and just keep lengthening that back leg. When you feel like, oh, I really opened that, now you start coming down and take it easy on your stretch. Breathe into the back, belly, let everything go. Relax. Good. And then just progress slowly. There's no rush. Good. We're halfway through the stretch. Good. And then at your own pace, slowly push yourself back up. Swing the back leg in. Good. Cross your leg. Bring one arm across, shoulder down. Pull. Stretch the shoulder, stretch the arm. Pull here. Pull from the elbow, above the elbow. I just pull my whole arm. Breathe. Nice. And then we're going to switch sides, roll the shoulders, bring the other arm, shoulder down, and then we pull across. Try not to roll the shoulder to pull. Just roll it down and then pull. A little stretch on the shoulder. Oh, I feel it on this one. Breathe.
good and then release nice roll your shoulders nice and just let's do a side stretch just because we did do all those planks just stretch up and over try to lift your rib a bit and reach the arm not too picky just feel the stretch there but try to breathe into this rib good try to keep the sit bone now because it's going to stretch all the way down here one more breath and then slowly bring it back up, change sides. Elbow weight go down or not. If you need the arm to be straight, that's, that's fine. Sit on that hip and then reach the arm away. So hip down, sit bone down and arm away. You feel the stretch all here. Give it three breaths there. Open up that rib cage, keep the sit bone heavy. One more breath and then you're gonna come back up. Nice, and just roll your shoulders. Three, two, and one. Nice job, everyone. Keep stretching, of course, if you want to. I will shut the recording down. Great work.